Welcome to another episode on what will you do? Hey, what is happening in this our generation and time? What is going on? What is going on? When I think about it, I just can't wrap my mind around it. What is going on with our young ladies, with our young men out there? What is going on? Please, somebody tell me something. Now, I chanced on this story just a few minutes ago and man, the story is crazy. It's just crazy. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. It's just more like a payback time. Michael and I had been dating for the past two and a half years. I won't lie. I'm ashamed to say that we were getting married in four months, but I was still missing my ex. Oh God. My ex and I had a very toxic relationship. Yet we really had mad love for each other. We just both knew we were not compatible. So my matured self decided to end things with him and settle with a very fine gentleman. My current fiance, Michael. We loved each other very much. We understood each other. We cared for each other. But that wasn't enough for me. Wow. There was something missing. That missing piece to the puzzle was intimacy. I was dating a man who observed chastity. Michael gave his life to Christ at a very young age and had devoted his entire life to serving God. Despite the fact that he comes from a rich home and could afford anything he wanted, he lived a very conventional life and stayed away from worldly things. As good looking as he was, what again do you want, a woman? Woman! And with all the women that fell at his feet, what got me tripping in love with him was his discipline. But that discipline was becoming a worry for me as I kept on getting sex stabbed. But you guys are going to get married. I mean, wh what can't you wait? Why can't you wait for four months, four good months, and you're sex stabbed and you can't wait? Hey! You are sex starved and you can't wait for four months. Oh goodness. This explains why I started missing my ex. My crave for sex kept heightening. I had been just for about two years. Hey. <laughs> He's been just for two years. That means that you know me having sex for two years. What about some of us who haven't had sex for like a long time? <laughs> and just two years, you are crying. Goodness me. Wow. <laughs> hey, two years. <laughs> wow, this is nice. Very beautiful. And with just four more months until my grand wedding, I knew I was going to break down. I could not wait. Oh, goodness. I hit up my ex one Friday evening. It had just rained and the weather was cool. Perfect for us. <laughs> see the sentence perfect for four legs wow i was having my early pms at the, at the time you know what pms means right my feelings and hormones were all over the place typical michael was at an all-night prayer service so i went to see my ex and the next three hours was what i had been longing for all that while hmm hmm my ex and I reproduced our magic that we had many years ago. Two long, hot, and intense sessions. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this lady is brothel woman. Two long, hot, intense sessions. Wow. <laughs> Some nice vocabulary is there. But I had to leave before I craved for a third round. Wow. Though I knew what I did was wrong and shameful, I also did not feel any guilt because I wanted it and I had wanted it for so long. It was just two months before our wedding and preparations were nearing. It was at the time that I started feeling guilty. Most couples fought a lot during wedding preparations due to difference, differences in opinion. But mine was different. And that's what made me convinced I was marrying the right man. He never argued with me. He literally made me plan my wedding and let me have everything myself. It's your wedding, sweetheart. 
not mine. I'm only here to put a ring on your finger, he said. Every time he said that, I shed a tear. Hmm. For I knew what I had done and I felt so guilty. I decided to tell Michael. I couldn't keep it anymore. We shared everything together. So we... How do you share everything together? How long have you had sex with this guy that you have kept it for this long? And now you are saying you want to tell him. So you finished eating your guilt now. <laughs> Goodness. So keeping this from him was eating me up. I slept with Derek two months ago. So two months ago, you slept with Derek and you are now telling him. Hey, and you say you share things together. Wow. Two months ago, and I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I begged him and cried on the floor. I felt so ashamed. The guilt was just too much. He looked at me, picked me up from the floor, and surprisingly gave me a hug, kissed me on, on my forehead, and said, we have a wedding to plan. Ow! Dry your tears. The, uh, that answer sent shivers down my spine. Now I was even more scared. His reaction was exact opposite of what I envisioned. The next month were the worst for me. I was in panic mode the whole time. Mike knew I cheated on him and was acting all normal and still kissed me and kept telling me he loved me. Wow. I thought this was not normal. I felt, un I felt so uneasy. What if he was planning to do something awful to me? As quiet as he was, I could never knew I could never know what he was thinking. As quiet as he was, I could never know what he was thinking. Wow. My heart is even beating. Sheesh. My heart is in my tummy right now. Like, wow. <sighs> See the shaking I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm sure she was shaking worse and more than I am shaking right now. Fast forward to our wedding day, the moment I had been waiting for all my life. The wedding with the most amazing man on this earth. I still was feeling a little uneasy, but I found a way to bury that feeling. For it was my wedding day, Mike sent me a text that morning while my makeup was being done. I love you. My heart just sank. Ay! Wow, slow. <laughs> wow, slow. The moment had arrived. And as I stepped out of the vehicle in my glittering gown, which cost about $3,000, $3,000. So this guy was able to, well, I mean, I can't, I can't assume the guy gave all the money. But if the guy gave all the money, $3,000. So if the guy just gave you $3,000 for just your gown, and this will happen, can you imagine? Wow, $3,000. My dad greeted me with a big smile on his face. He took my hand and started to walk me to the church entrance. Slowly but elegantly, we entered the chapel, which was beautifully decorated and well lit. As we walked down the aisle, I realized something unusual. Michael was not standing in front waiting for me as he was supposed to. I looked to the left of the auditorium where his relatives were to be seated and realized there was not a soul on seat. Repeat that again. There was not so on seat. Wow. Had I just been stood up by him and his family? The pastor approached me and whispered into my ears, Where is your husband, please? I honestly don't even remember paying him any attention. My mind was so fixated on what was happening at that moment. I looked back and saw the concerned look on all my colleagues' faces all my friends, my little brothers, everyone had a sorry look on their face and that broke me down into uncontrollable tears. Michael's phone was off and his family members were also not picking up. He had paid me back for what I did calculatedly and it tore into my soul. It's been six years now and I'm still unmarried. Married. It's been six years now and I'm still unmarried at 36. I still have not gotten over what Michael did to me. Honestly, I do not regret cheating. What I regret was ever telling him. Ah, 
how can you not regret cheating and rather regret telling him? So you had wanted to keep a secret. Hey, some people too can be something. Wow. That was my mistake. I've been stalking his socials and watch all his posts with his wife and kids and it keeps building up the rage inside me. I've gone to the extent of driving to their house just to sit. Hey, so you've monitored, goodness. So you've monitored this guy. Wow. And sit and watch them walk in and out. I sometimes look at the window to see if they are making love. This rage inside me will, will des definitely make me do something stupid one day. How do I fix this? Wow. Ow. My heart. So is this tit for tat? Or what will you call it? Now she's asking herself, how could she fix this? How will she fix this? But the guy is going to marry for over six years. What will you do if it is you? What will you do? Please leave the comment in the comment section. Let's see what you will do. Peace.